In this video, we're going to look at the part whole meaning for a fraction, but this time we're going to look at improper fractions. So that's when we have a fraction where the top or the numerator is bigger than the denominator. So we could have like 7 fifths, we could have 5 fourths, we could have 11, um, I don't know, thirds. It could be anything as long as the top number is bigger than the bottom. Okay. So what happens is that um, actually shading objects is a good way to go from improper fractions to mixed numbers because what some of you might be doing right now, some of you might be going, oh, well, this is one and two fifths. And this is one and one fourth. And this is three and two thirds. Okay. Some of you are doing that, not all of you. Okay. What these are called, or these are called mixed numbers because I have a whole part and a fractional part. Now, a good way to teach why these two are equal has to do with shading, okay? So let's say, for example, I wanted to do, and it doesn't really matter which of these shapes I choose, or these numbers I choose. Let's say I started with seven fifths, okay? So I need to have a shape that I cut into five equal parts, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and go with a tape diagram. Okay, so here's my one, and I'm gonna cut it into five equal parts, or as close to equal as I can get it. Okay, now, to represent seven fifths, I have to shade seven of these. Well, I only have five. So what happens is I have to write another shape, and that other shape can be to the side, it could be down below. I think what I'll do is I'll do it down below. That way we can keep it nice and clean. Okay, so if I'm going to shade seven fifths, it's saying that, hey, I've got the shape that I've cut into fifths. I need to shade seven of them. So there's one, two, three, four, five. And my problem was is that that's why I had to draw another shape. Six, seven. Now, how many shapes did I shade in whole? I have one entire shape and then two fifths of another. So that means that seven fifths is the same thing as one and two fifths. See what I'm saying? It's pretty cool, right? Okay, so let's try it with 11 thirds. All right, so if I did 11 thirds, I need a shape, any shape that I want. So let's say maybe you're a fan of circles. Okay, so this has to be in three equal parts. Okay, so I need to shade 11 of them, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I still need two more to go. Okay, so 11 thirds would be, I'm gonna now shade 11, And what I get is that I have three whole shapes and two thirds of another. So 11 thirds is the same thing as three and two thirds. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so although some of you might be rolling your eyes at having to draw and shade these shapes over and over again, it is a nice connection of why improper fractions turn into these mixed numbers. All right, good luck.